singing is a great example. When you're 55 and if you've never really been in a band or you've sung or done it, to start singing seems almost like crazy or silly. It's it's almost easier to say I'm going to start chess or I'm going to juggle. But like at 55, are you going to go learn to surf? Are you going to go to learn to sing? And you say, why not? Yeah, I mean – a lot of people might think, you know, again, you're, you're at the peak of your career, maybe nearing retirement. You're, you're trying to you know, work on all these these job things. Why get into something seemingly trivial like a hobby? Um, I mean, there's a couple a couple of reasons there. I mean, one is that there's some very, very fascinating research that uh, David Epstein in his great book Range also talks about this, um, that they looked at Nobel Prize winning scientists. The scientists that had w- actually won the Nobel Prize seemed to partake in more uh, hobbies like like amateur uh, acting, singing, dancing, art, art you name it, than the, the scientists who hadn't won the Nobel. 